So even if you weren't able to get an exact answer to this question, is there an x for which fx is less than or equal to x, I hope you were able to experiment enough to find some really strange behavior when you try and run this program with very large values of x or very small values of x. So let me try a very large value of x. I'm going to type in 3 into 10 to the power 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros. So that's 3 billion with a b. And look what it says. It says, as expected, f of minus some ugly number. Well, I never entered that my, uh, ugly number. I entered 3 billion. Yet, the C program somehow thinks that I typed in this minus something, something, something number. Uh, you notice it ends with 6, right? Uh, so it's a negative number ending with 6. When you add 1 to it, you get the same negative number, but with ending with 5. And it says, look, that's fine. Uh, for that, x, uh, it works. So although I typed in uh, 3 billion, C seems to think that I actually typed in a negative number. So why is that happening? Strange observation. Let's try it with a very small number, meaning a negative number that is very large. So once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So negative 3 billion. Let's try that. This time it thinks I entered a positive number. Again, it seems a little bit similar to the uh, negative number that I entered before, except that I don't have a negative sign anymore. And when it computes f of this number, which ends with 6, we get the same number but ending with 7. And it says that's bigger. So clearly, uh, there is a limit to the uh, size of the integer. If I'm giving a very big integer like 3 billion, it's somehow messing up and it seems to think I'm actually giving a negative number. Similarly, if I give a very small integer like minus 3 billion, it's messing up and it seems to think I'm uh, giving it a positive integer. So this is a hint already that C is limited in some sense. Uh, and in fact, this is a limitation not only of C, this is a limitation of any programming uh, language. And in fact, it is a limit of any real computer because any real computer has only a finite amount of memory. You see, if I'm trying to type in some big number over here, before I uh, can do the calculation, uh, I have to hit enter, right? And if I haven't hit enter yet, somewhere it has to remember all these digits that I am typing. And the machine, any machine, has only a finite amount of memory. So somewhere there has to be some limit as to how big a number it can remember. So I can't keep typing uh, these digits. Of course, the set of integers is infinite. So in principle, I could have this really, really big number, an arbitrarily large uh, integer. Uh, so that would be a legal integer. But the point is that there is some built-in limit to how big integers can get. And even if uh, we could exceed this limit and get a super big int, uh, that's fine, but even that would have some limits. So because of those limits, uh, maths is going to break in C and in any other programming language. So somewhere, even basic things like adding one are going to break. So I haven't yet explained to you exactly how this is happening. Uh, but I have given you the main reason why it's happening. The main reason is that there are limits to how big uh, integers can be, or in fact, any data can be. And we will explore exactly what happens in the next lecture.